Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you can realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I can feel it in my scrope. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of this? Guys, just discussing the weather. A bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scrope. Y yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know, from the time you were away in Jotunheim. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. Finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but... I 
had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs>